Welcome, my name is Nilaus and I am the tutorial. That was an offhand comment that I mentioned in one of my videos and uh, that's sort of been catching on and now I have embraced it. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. We're going to talk about a, a bit of a channel update. We'll do that at the end of the video, but also on some of the stuff that I want to or that I'm providing to you and I've just uh, reworked it so it's more neat and more accessible for you uh, to access the resources that I make. Now, every day, more and more content creators are joining on YouTube and Twitch and everywhere else. And it's important for us as content creators to set ourselves apart and make sure that we have a clear identity of what we do and uh, what we offer so that you will be coming back and subscribing and maybe even pledging on Patreon uh, to support the channel and the work I do here. So how do I uh, set myself apart? Well, if you uh, have watched anything, and I'm pretty sure you have since you're watching this video, then uh, you are familiar with my designs. And that's kind of what I feel that sets me apart. But not only do I make my make cool designs in game and uh, other people who do that, but I also put a very big effort into making them easily understandable and accessible to everyone. And that's where I'm going to be uh, looking at strengthening that part and making stuff more available and more accessible to you. In all the games that I play, factory games, simulation games, logistics games, I put a great effort into making specific designs, but not only having a design, but also having a design language that I want to be unique to me. So if you are playing Factorio, you probably heard of City Blocks and you know that comes from here. This is something I specifically invented and branded and pushed out. Not only because it's a good idea, but also because it's it's kind of a design language that I did like to do. And therefore, also when I see someone else on Reddit make a, a city block base or talking about city blocks, then I know where I come from and I can see my influence here as well. Likewise, on uh, on in Dyson Sphere program, I also have some idioms in terms of how I build things with the planet, the polar hubs, the make everything ba uh, base, and um, and just the solar panels on the planets. I, I have some specific design language that is unique to me, and uh, I feel that that's something that strengthens my brand. Maybe you get tired of seeing the same thing, but it's also something that makes it more comfortable and more more easy to, to adapt it, and also makes it more modular for me to provide blueprints and designs for you because you know how to fit in. They're going to fit in a city block in Factory. They're going to fit into planets sectors in in Dyson Sphere and that's just how things work. So embracing this we are going to take a look at uh, what I've done in terms of improving it because uh, not long ago pacements just stopped working for all of the masterclass blueprints and there was a bit of an uproar that they were no longer available so I have now made it available. I have moved uh, all of my blueprints for Factorio over to Factorio bin so I just want to uh, thank Jeff S from the community who built this uh, site uh, not necessarily specifically be specifically for me but pretty much specifically for me because I didn't like any of the other sites and he just built it and it just does what I need it to do so that's brilliant so thank you Jeff S for uh, for for making that site uh, so easily accessible that even I can use it we're now jumping on over to my conference page. This is my website and uh, yeah, it's on Nilos TV. It's not the greatest website that ever was. And I know that some of you developers out there are cursing at the use of conference and Jira, but I like it. It's easy for me to use and I'd like to use something else, but I don't really bother uh, making a website. So yeah, this is what I'm going to do for now on. And uh, maybe it'll be changed later on, but for now that's uh, this is what I have. Uh, we're going to be looking at what I've done differently. And uh, basically that's for Factorio and for Dyson Sphere Program. I have uh, collected and consolidated all the resources. So it's much more easy for you to access it both for Factorio because things were not accessible anymore on Pastebin and for Dyson Sphere Program because there was an issue with sort of um, making sure that there was the right updated versions of Blueprints that I have available because I keep tinkering with them, especially since there's constant updates to that game. Let's start by looking at the Factorio page. So I have created this consolidated Factorio page with the most important information available. Uh, here we have the blueprints. I have uh, three sub pages for blueprints, one for base in the book, one for mega base in the book, and one for uh, the master classes. And of course, as it says here, you can always get all the save games, uh, every single episode, uh, uh, pretty much every single. I lost some of those when I, I my PC crashed some time ago. But I have uh, for pretty much all of the save games every episode uh, available to Patreon supporters. So if you want to support the channel or if you want to get the access to the save games, then uh, consider supporting on Patreon. We also have the links to the YouTube playlist. We're going to go into each of these uh, uh, pages just to take a look at what they are and uh, 
not much is different. I just cleaned it up a bit here. So we have base in the book. This is uh, just all the blueprints we have for base in the book. Uh, they are available since the blueprints are ad adapting from time to time as you get unlocked new tech. Then I have to sort of have a blueprint book for each episode. That's not the case for when we get to mega base in the book. Here I only have the latest version. And the reason why I keep only the latest version is because I had the latest version always updating. So all the blueprints that I have, all modular, all city block based are, um, are all available here in the latest version. So you don't need the previous versions because you have all the research unlocked. But some of the earlier versions have been sort of improved as we go along. There might even have been a bug here and there um, in, in some of those. And lastly, I have uh, consolidated a new page here. This is for masterclasses and I've done every single video of uh, all the masterclasses. And then I have a specific link that links to Factorio bin with the relevant blueprints that matches that, uh, that part. This will also be linked on all of the masterclass videos on YouTube so that you can easily find your way here to this page. And then from here, uh, get to Factorio Ben where the actual blueprints are. So I hope this is something that's uh, useful uh, if you are still playing Factorio. I am not right now and uh, I'll be coming back when there's something new. That's kind of how I, my plan is for, for Factorio. But uh, all these resources are still available because the game hasn't uh, changed for a couple of years now. So everything you see, even if it still says 0.18, it's still relevant in uh, the current version. Next up, we have Dyson Sphere Program. I've also made some changes here. I have uh, one consolidated page here, and uh, there are a few more resources for Dyson Sphere Program. I have my blueprints, and I have, of course, still the same with save games. I have my uh, my different series that I'm working on. We have the mecha design made by Bay Beans, and we have some Dyson Sphere designs uh, also. But primarily, the difference here is that now the blueprints are com are fully automated. The automatic synchronization between the game and the Google Drive where you can get it. That means anytime I make any change in game, you can immediately go and download it from my Google Drive. All of this is something that it's available to everyone. So you don't need to be a patron to do that. I like to sort of have the, the patronage being something that uh, is optional and not like getting access to my blueprints. So all blueprints are available. If we just look at what it looks like, here we have uh, the blueprint folder. Every blueprint is now organized into a folder. I've cleaned out our or the old one. I'm sure that the ones I have are still relevant and uh, updated. Let me actually just sort it by date that uh, or by name here instead looks a bit better. So we have like the different sciences, we have uh, the planetary designs like uh, the polar hub to make everything. All those things are now available and you can grab them. There are some things that are sort of not current in my view of things, but you might still be playing it that way. I have a specific way that I'm doing it in the new series. And uh, that's kind of where I'm, I'm migrating designs towards that template. And that's, uh, they will be available here every time we do an update. Uh, lastly here, we also have all of the Dyson Sphere program, uh, Dyson Sphere designs. Uh, there's pictures of them and there are blueprints. And also in the case where I've remembered who actually designed them, I've listed that as well. So those are the ones, if you need some inspiration for cool designs that I used in my previous series, I'm going to be starting using some of those in my current series as well. And that gets us back to uh, this overlay. So this is uh, basically a few uh, a few new things that I've uh, consolidated. Well, they're not new, but I've consolidated, made it a bit more easy for you to access by putting the Dyson Sphere Blueprints on Google Drive, making it uh, self-synchronized so that I don't have to deal with it, cleaning up all of the Factorio Blueprints so that they are now accessible on Factorio Bin, thanks GFS, and uh, also just makes it a, make a nice overview. So I hope that this is something that um, that you appreciate. And it's certainly something that is very much an engineering approach. Make sure that we have a knowledge base, make sure that we consolidate things and of course use a tool that all developers maybe hate, but at least are familiar with in terms of confluence. I know it's not, doesn't work always on uh, on mobile. I, I tried it various different things. And that's one reason why this video comes out a bit later was because I had some issues with uh, some, some layouts. If you have other ideas about how I should uh, migrate this to another platform, yeah, feel free to share them. Um, I may not be uh, be doing it, and I'm not going to be putting uh, blueprints or something in in GitHub that is uh, too cumbersome for non-developers to deal with. 
And jumping back here to this view, then we are going to just talk a bit about what's going on on my channel right these days. I am, uh, I've been doing these uh, first look videos and I'm really enjoying it. I am always on the lookout for new and upcoming games. So if you know any uh, upcoming games or anything that's just released uh, these last week or so, then uh, let me know in the comment section if you think you'd like, to, or if you'd like to see my take on those kind of games. I will be generally streaming them one time and then next day making a video consolidating what I've learned in the four hours of streaming. What I'm also seeing is that, uh, or what I'm also doing now is I've stopped streaming satisfactory because, well, it kind of, it kind of becomes same old, same old. And every time I, I, I play satisfactory and then if there's a new Dyson Sphere program, then I just realize the Dyson Sphere program is so much better game. And then I jump over to play Dyson instead and then I can't continue with satisfactory. Uh, that's kind of how it goes. Uh, so we'll see. I'm definitely not done with satisfactory like forever and ever and ever, but um, there has to be something new to pull me back in again. Um, in terms of other games, I'm replaying God of War in preparation for God of War Ragnarok that comes out in uh, November. I know this is not going to be something that will be available here on YouTube. I don't think I'm the right person to make a 50 uh, episode long uh, Let's Play series of this kind of games. I've done that in the past. As long as it's not a building game, it just destroys my channel. So if you want to watch it, it's over on Twitch and also on my second channel, the Needles TV, where I keep all the VODs from my Twitch streams. So you can check it out there. Uh, I'm also streaming a lot of Darkest Dungeon, and I'm loving that game, and I'd like to put out some content for it here on YouTube. I don't know how much the interest there is for it, because it kind of stretches a bit long, and I don't know how to break it down. But the uh, ideas are very welcome. So I'm also um, also playing, continue to play Dyson Sphere Program. We have a number of games coming up uh, in the next couple of months, in terms of sort of uh, other niche games in, in our little niche, like Ixion, like Tectonica, like Foundry games that I've enjoyed very much and got really good reception when I did a first look video here on the channel. So definitely something we'll be need, we're going to be looking more at in the future. So with that, uh, thank you very much everyone for joining on this video and thank you for joining on the live streams. Thank you very much, particularly to the Patreon supporters. Without you, this would not be possible for me to sit and just uh, fidget with uh, with make, clean these things up. This is something I do because I, I love the support from the community and I want to make sure that I deliver something back to you. So uh, thank you very much, everyone. I will see you guys either here or on Twitch. Until next time, take care and as always, stay effective.